Hi, my name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, today I am introducing you all a proven law in forensic audits and investigations. That is Benford's law. What this law does, how it works, with a real-time case study you will be finding in this video. Benford's law is also called as the first digit law. Benford's law predicts the occurrence of digits in large sets of data. Simply put, this law maintains that we can expect some digits to occur more often than the other digits. For example, the numerical 1 should occur as the significant leading digit, that's nothing but the first digit, in any multi-digit number about 30% of the time, while the numerical 9 should occur as the first digit only 4.6% of the time. If we take any large data, real data, we can apply the Benford law. Let us look into the equation of the Benford law. Occurrence of x as a first digit equal to log 10, 1 divided by digit plus 1, that is x in this case. If I want to know the occurrence of digit 1, I can simply write a formula logarithm 10, 1 divided by 1 plus 1. If I want to know for digit 4, simple, log 10, 1 divided by 4 plus 1. If I want to know for 8, log 10, 1 divided by 8 plus 1. Fortunately, even in our MS Excel, we have a function called log 10. What is the usage of the Benford law? Benford law can be used to identify the red flags. When someone creates false transactions or commits any data entry mistakes, the resulting numbers often deviate from the last expectations. This is true when someone creates random numbers or intentionally some numbers having fraudulent in the nature, then the percentage will deviate. Coincidentally, today morning I was looking into the newspaper. I found a news. Forensic audit finds fraudulent transactions worth of 14,000 crores in the DHFL case. An investigation carried by Grant Thornton, a leading audit firm, into the affairs of Divan Housing Finance Corporation Limited has unearthed the fraudulent transactions. Maybe to identify or to find the red flags of the fraudulent transaction, Benford law is something which is most important. Let's look into the conditions of the Benford law. The numbers in the data set should describe the same object. Means you cannot take two different objects data combined as one data set. You cannot apply the Benford law. There should not be any built-in maximum or minimum to the numbers. Means you should not apply a Benford law on the data set where the number nature itself is having some maximum limit and minimum limit. You cannot apply Benford law in those cases. The numbers should not be assigned numbers. Generally, the phone numbers are assigned numbers. Invoice numbers are assigned numbers. And uh, car numbers are assigned numbers. You cannot apply Benford law by taking all the phone numbers because there is a more chance in India 9 occurs more number of times, comparatively 7. You cannot apply the Benford law where it follows the uniform distribution. Because when any data set follows uniform distribution, we can easily tell every data, every number occurs around 11% of the times. Let's look into the practical case study whether really this Benford law works or not. I am 100% sure whatever the case study you take, these all are the percentages it has to meet. Now what we will do? We will take some live case study. We will go to our stock exchange 
of India National Stock Exchange. We will take yesterday's data of all the scripts. We will look into the total traded value. We'll apply the Benford law. Then we'll see whether the real data set is exactly falling into these percentages. Then we'll have a comparison between what Benford is saying and what is the actual percentage. If the deviation is more, then that is the point where we need to focus more in our audits. Nevertheless, understand a point that when there is a deviation, it doesn't mean there is a fraud. It is only an indication for us to dig more. It is an alarm for the auditor. Maybe if I want to take samples, I may take more samples when deviation is more. How to get the NSE data? Let's go into our web. I just search for NSE master data. It's already there. Now click this link. It will take me to the NSE India website. This is the place where you'll find all the reports. Let me take this bow copy. This generally comes in the zip format. Let me click this. It is a CSV file. Let me double click this. This is open in the text file by default. Let me keep the cursor here. You can use the shortcut Ctrl plus A, Ctrl plus C. Now go back to your Excel. Let me go to this tab, Ctrl V. Since it's a CSV file in the text format, let me do text to column. Go to the data tab, text to column, delimited. Click next, comma separation as a values. Next, click finish. Now, let me select this entire data using the shortcut Control shift and let me do auto fit. Now, this is my title row. I want to apply the Benford law on total traded value. Let me give the comma format with the zero decimals. Since I am only applying for this column, for the time being, let me hide all of the columns. Let me select from here to here, hide. Let me keep the script name. First, what is the step I need to do? I should extract the first digit out of the data set. To extract the first digit, we have a function called left because I want to get from the left side. Left is the function. This function is having two arguments. First argument is from which text you want to extract. Second argument is how many number of characters. Second argument is in the square bracket. Means it is optional. Means if you ignore the second argument, by default it extracts the first characters. Let me take this cell, close bracket, enter. Just keep the cursor at the edge downside, double click. So that all first digit extracted from all the records. Let me give this name as first digit as a title. Now my second step, I'm going to keep it heading here as a digit. I want to work for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Generally we have nine digits. What is the actual frequency? That means how many times one is appearing in this entire column. In Excel, there is a beautiful function called count if. The name itself is suggesting I want to count if my column is matching the criteria. What is the range in which I need to look? This is the range, comma. What is the criteria? This is the criteria, close bracket. In a plain language, I'm instructing the Excel. Excel, could you please look into this column for this criteria? If this matches, count how many values are there and display as a number. Just copy paste so that you will get to know actual occurrence. If I total this, Alt equal to is the shortcut I'm using. I'll get 1959 are the total transactions, total scripts. Let me go to the last row, control down arrow. 
1960 is the last one. If you remove the header, 1959. So my check is correct here. Now I want to know actual percentage equal to this divided by this. I don't want Q11 should change. So let me use the shortcut F4 so that you will get the dollar symbols means it is an absolute reference. In case of absolute reference, even if I copy and paste, the reference will not change. Since it is a relative reference, when I copy and paste below, Q2 will become Q3. Enter. Copy and paste. Now, let me give the comma format from the home tab percentage with two decimals. Benford also given me some percentage. So what is the Benford's percentage? We have a function log 10 open bracket. What number? 1 divided by desert plus 1. This is the equation given by the Benford. Enter, copy and paste. So this is the percentage given by the Benford. This is the actual percentage of this data set. Let's find the deviation. The difference actual minus Benford, copy and paste. This is the difference. If I do the audit on the transactions happened yesterday in the NSE, I am going to look into this data. Rather, if I do the audit of the transactions on yesterday's data, I take more samples out of the transactions where the first digit is either 1 or 2 or 3. Remaining all, if you observe, it is almost exactly matching. The difference is not even 0.5%, very less. When the difference is more than 1.5% or 2%, that is the point where we need to focus more. Let me tell you again, when there is a difference, it doesn't mean there is a fraud. Benford law is giving us a comfort to take samples more. Benford law is giving us a comfort to identify the red flag. Benford law is just the concept which can alarm the auditor. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like these videos, subscribe our channel. You can like the video. You can share it to your friends, colleagues. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.